Okay, so what we're going to look at in this lesson is solving inequalities. So if we have a look at this guy here, so this is the inequality that we have. We know that it's an inequality because we have this inequality sign here. So instead of it being an equation where you'd have an equal sign, you have this inequality sign here as well. So it says solve the inequality 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 12. Now what it tells us that is that when we solve for x that the answer x is going to be an element of n and n is a natural number okay or it, it's going to be there the x values are going to be natural numbers there's going to be more than one x value and then what it asks you to do then is and graph the solution on a number line so let's have a look at this question so we write out our equation so we have 5x minus 3 uh, is greater than or equal to 12. So what we need to do is we want to try and get x on its own. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get rid of the numbers around x. So we just treat this just like an equation and um, just like what we were doing when you have an equal sign. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the numbers. So if we look here, so we want to get rid of this minus 3 first of all. So if we, we want to turn this minus 3 to a 0. So if we have minus 3 here, what we're, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add 3. So we add 3 here. If we add 3 on this side, we have to add 3 on this side. Like so. So what will happen then is, so we can rewrite this then. So this is going to be 5x. And what we have here is, so we have minus 3 plus 3, that's just going to be equal to 0. So these two will cancel each other out. And then we want to keep the inequality sign. And then we have 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. So what we've done there is we've essentially, we've got rid of this 3 from beside this 5x. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get x on its own. So that's the first part. So remember, if we add 3 on one side, we have to add 3 on the other side. We've added 3 so that we can get rid of this minus 3. So what, like, what do we have to do to get rid of minus 3? We have to add 3 to it and that will turn to 0. And then we have to add 3 on this side as well. So this leaves us with 5 multiplied by x is greater than or equal to 15. So the next step then is we want to try and get rid of this 5. So we know that this is 5 multiplied by the value x. So we think of what's the opposite of multiplication. It's division. So what we have to do then is we have to divide this side by 5. And again, just like what we've done here, if we divide this side by 5, so we, just, we can draw a line like so and divide this by 5, we have to divide this side by 5 as well, like so. So the next step then is so we can divide these in. So this will cancel out with this and that will just leave you with x like so, and then is greater than or equal to, you're going to have 15 divided by 5, which is equal to 3. Okay, so the answer then is x, the value for x is greater than or equal to 3. Now, the next part is what it asks you to do is, it asks you to graph the solution on a number line. So let's look at what that looks like. So we can just draw a number line, like so. Okay, so this is our number line. And we can just start, like for example, so it's going to be the value for x is going to be greater than or equal to 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we have we have numbers like that. And then what we want to do is we want to we want to graph this. So what this is saying is that the value for x, so it's going to be a range of values. So it's going to be greater than or equal to 3. So you're going to start here. You're going to start on your 3, like so. And then you're including all of these numbers along here. Okay, so what that's saying is that all of these numbers here, so 3, 4, 5, all the way up to infinity, they are going to be part, they're going to be the values for x. So a way to kind of think about it is, so for example, if you take 3 and you substitute it in here, so 5 times 3 is 15, minus 3 is going to be 12, so 12 is equal to 12. 
and then if you were to put in 4, that would be 5 times 4 is 20, minus 3 is 17, so therefore 17 is greater than 12. So all of these other values except for 3, when you substitute them in here, they're going to be greater than 12. So that's that, that's that first question, okay, so it's just solving an inequality. So the next question then that we have here is solve the inequality 10 minus 2x is greater than 2 and your answer, so x is going to be an element of R, so remember R are real numbers, and graph the, the solution on the number line. So let's work through this one. Okay, so we have, so we have 10 minus 2x is greater than 2. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get x on its own. We want to get this x on its own. So we look at what's around x. So we can see here that we have this 10. So this is the first thing we want to get rid of. So this is plus 10. Now in order to get rid of plus 10, what do we have to do? We're going to have to subtract 10 from it. We have to minus 10. And whatever we do on this side of the inequality, we have to do exactly the same on the other side. So we have to minus 10, like so. So that will become, so 10 minus, so plus 10 minus 10 will just cancel out. And you're going to be left with uh, minus 2x is greater than, um, so if we are on 2 and we minus 10, we're going to end up on minus 8, on minus 8. Okay. Now, the next thing then we want to do is, so see the way we, this is a minus 2. You always want to end up with x as a positive value or so you don't want it to end up as a negative value. So what we need to look at this, so we can see this is minus two multiplied by x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we have to divide this. And in order to, what we need to do, we need to divide it by minus two. So we have to divide this by minus two. If we divide this side by minus two, we have to divide this side by minus two as well. So we can divide this by minus two, like so. So what's going to happen then is, so this minus 2 will cancel out with this minus 2. Okay, so minus 2 divided by minus 2, that will end up as a positive, so it'll change this x to a positive value. So it'll be just x, okay? And then on this side we have minus 8 divided by minus 2, that's going to be equal to 4. Now, a rule that we have to take into uh, into account, okay? When you, for example, when you add or subtract numbers from either side of a of of a um, inequality, the sign can stay the same. If you divide or multiply either side by a positive number, the sign can stay the same. Now, the only uh, the only alternative to that is that. If you, so if both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by at the same negative number, the inequality sign must be reversed. Okay, so this, it has, this has to be reversed. And this is, the, this is the rule here, okay? So if both sides of an inequality, so see the way here, so we've had to divide this side and this side by a negative number. So we've, we've had to divide both sides. So if both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided, okay, so it's just multiplication and it's just division, and it just relates to a negative number. So if both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by the same negative number, the inequality sign must be reversed. So for example, so see the way here, we have divided this side by a negative number, negative two, and we've divided this side by a negative number, negative two. So, so see the way the inequality is like so. Well, what you do, when you divide or multiply either side of an inequality by a negative number, you have to reverse the sign here. So what's gonna happen is this sign will become a less than sign. So that's what we mean by reversing the sign. So that's the first part of the question done here. So solve the inequality, 10 minus 2x is greater than 2, and x is an element of war. Okay, so we can see that x, so for example, it's gonna be less than four, 
so they're going to they're going to be real numbers. And now the next part is to graph the solution on a number line. So we need to be able to graph this as well. So let's draw a number line. So we can just draw a number line like this. And what we can see is that x is going to be less than 4. So if we start at 4, imagine this is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, we're, so we have 4. Uh, so 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So basically what we're going to, we're only going to, so, so see the way we say x is less than 4. So therefore x is not, it's not equal to 4, it's going to be less than 4. So what ones do we include? So we're going to include, we're, we're going to include everything from here down. Like so. Okay, so that's just what we're including. We're including everything from here on. So, so all of these values here would be x on the number line. And this just goes on indefinitely. So see the way we have an arrow at the end like that? That means that that number line goes on indefinitely in that direction. And the same here. Same here with this as well. So that's that first question here. But this here is a very important rule when you're working with inequalities. So if you have to divide or multiply either side of an inequality by a negative number. And it's only for multiplication and division, and only when it's a negative number, you have to change, you have to flip the sign. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that is solving inequalities.